Spirit Hunter, Hunter, NG. Wow, that was so bad. Are you looking at the cameras? Yeah, why are we not? No, it's okay. That's so funny. Chained together. <laughs> not welcome, welcome back. back. Chains? What were those for? How should I know? The report lists some possibilities, maybe to restrain the victims or have them watch each other. And one that sounds pretty occult, too. What do you mean by occult? Well, the arsonist may have been trying to play the Demon Sukuyomi game. No way, is this like the Ouija board? <laughs> Wait, did you see the Demon Sukuyomi? Um, actually... Uh, yo, <laughs> you, um, actually, yo, go get back into the, to the realm of the dead, we don't need... <laughs> do you know anything about the Demon Sukuyomi? No, I've never heard of it before. What is it? I don't know. I just remember Kakuya talking about it. I'm sure of it. Ami mentioned that earlier. What? Nice. Imagine it says try again. <laughs> you have to go all the way back to the club. <laughs> a whisper comes from somewhere. It's time for a tale. Demon Tsukuyomi, Demon Tsukuyomi, please come here. That's exactly what people say in like... The Ouija, Ouija board, board does. Dunno. So, it's not over yet, huh? But this time it's different. The game always starts when Kakuya tells me the name of the spirit. But this time, Kakuya hasn't shown herself yet. Man, I have no idea what's going on. I suddenly feel my consciousness drifting away and instinctively hold my head. So Corny, what's the matter? It's the curse. Kakuya's curse is back. Who's the what? No way, but you saved Ami. What? How should I know what Kakuya's deal is, I'm a gnome? All I know is I'll be in real trouble if I don't do something about this demon Tsukiyomi by today. What? <laughs> yeah, I guess we gotta act before we think right now. You survived this long, so I'm sure it'll all wor work out this time, dude. Hey, detective, tell us everything you know about that demon Tsukiyomi game. Alright. Then I'll tell you what I know. What I am a gnome. <laughs> <laughs> Room is a demon Tsukuyomi. Tsukuyomi. The demon Tsukuyomi game was real popular with middle schoolers at the time. Is something to do with the moon? If you performed a certain ritual, supposedly a ghost called the demon Tsukuyomi would appear and grant any wish. No one really knows what the demon Tsukuyomi itself is supposed to be. Some say its name is taken from the Japanese god of the moon, Tsukuyomi. Yeah, that's what I thought. Oh. Apparently because it only shows up on nights when there's a moon. The concept is kind of similar to the Kokuri game or Ouija board. See? Yeah. Oh, I'm yeah. just too good. I'm just too good. You know your occult stuff. The demon Tsukuyomi game ritual has to be done on a night when there's a moon. To summon him, you need chain something to burn and two hand mirrors. This is the plot to long legs. <laughs> First, you place the chain down like you're surrounding yourself. The area section off by the chain is supposed to be like the altar for the ritual. Next, you take your offering and burn it in the altar. You can burn anything you want, but the value's gotta be proportional to the size of your wish. If your wish isn't granted, then it means the thing you burned wasn't valuable enough. Once you light the thing on fire, you gotta recite a spell to summon the demon Tsukuyomi before it burns up. Demon Tsukuyomi! Demon Tsukuyomi, please come here! Demon Tsukuyomi! <laughs> Once you finish the spell, there's one last thing. You gotta use the two hand mirrors and join them together. Then the demon Tsukuyomi will appear. That's everything I know about it. Huh, sounds a little different than the rumors we've heard about other spirits. Doesn't even mention anyone dying. Between the chains and the fire, it all lines up pretty well with that arson case. Which means, 
The arsonist was trying to perform the demon Tsukiyomi ritual? That's just one explanation. No one but the arsonist knows for sure. So, Binjade, what are you gonna do now? We're gonna play the game! <laughs> I'm gonna try playing the demon Tsukiyomi game. I need two chains, uh, some hand mirrors, uh, yeah, burn. Mirrors and an offering are one thing, but chains are gonna be hard to come by. Uh, Hardware stores are all closed by now. Uh, I'll steal some from somewhere. You're gonna get yourself arrested. I guess I should give it some more thought. What'll I, I do? I'm going to Moon Tower. Got any reason for that? No. That one elevator turned back time. Only spirit that can do that. Something similar happened at the Mariyoku residence too. If the elevator's still doing that, then that means something's still there. And it might just be the demon Tsukiyomi. I get you. Alright, wanna get going then? If that department store the elevator goes to is the scene from right after the fire, there might be chains left there so we can try out the demon Tsukuyomi game. Okay. okay, and it's decided. I'll be going with you, obviously. It's my job to protect you after all. Since when? You're gonna have to fix that ghost allergy of yours before you make claims like that. Her. I feel like I've come a long way compared to how I was when this all started. If we go to Moon Tower, we need to prepare first. Oh. Oh. It's okay. <laughs> Just some minor business. Oh, Dan's not with us this time, so we can't use the same trick we did before. Minor business? Suspicious. I thought it involved Killer Beach. I sent him to Atami, where Ogoyama's house is. After Ogoyama died, her personal belongings were sent to her house. I wanted to find out what was in there. If there's notebook, we might learn something about Killer Peach or the arson case. I can't believe Ban just agreed to go and do that. Oh, I told him it'd be a good scoop, and he came around after that. Sounds like Ban's been sent far away. He won't be able to help out with the investigation tonight. So how are we going to sneak into Moon Tower then? I'm going to take a page out of Ban's book. Just leave it to me. Yoki. Better get going then. Come to Moon Tower in about two hours. Who we leaves the bar after that cryptic remark? Well, we've got some time to kill. Wanna get a bite to eat, Nakoni? Apparently, there's a new traditional style place by Shinza Station. It'll be my treat. Anything you say, I have a gnome. That you're excited and all, but you have to mind your manners there, alright? Don't embarrass me, Nakoni. I would never do such a thing, I'm a gnome. All these new locations. I'm a gnome and I go to the fancy restaurant by Sinshinza Station. They're actually not locations, they're just implied. <laughs> the food there is mind blowing. It's so mind blowing you don't get to see it. Which is to be expected from something so crazy expensive. Though well, I would have preferred more meat. I'm a gnome's meat. Spirit file Demon Tsukiyomi has been updated. Oh yeah, who cares about that? Let's go back to I'm a gnome. Remember this? Two hours after I split with Ui, I arrive at Shinza Station. It's a Friday night, but weirdly there aren't many people out. Good, just me and I'm a gnome. I wonder how Miss Detective will do? It's Ui. Yes, I'm at Moon Tower. Yeah, good timing. I just finished persuading them. Persuading, is it? I just had a nice long chat with the head of security who banned bribe is all. Told him if he didn't listen to what I said, I'd call him in for breach of trust. Simmer down real quick after that. Wow, you really are a shitty cop. What else was I supposed to do? We don't have a lot of options here. Anyway, the back door is Sorry. unlocked, so get inside. I'll be waiting on the roof. Got something I want to show you. Okay, meet you there. Seems all obstacles have been removed. Time to march into battle, Snakornu. Now you get to go to the roof. Even this late at night, the ash fall is still hot as I head toward Moon Tower. That's true. I forgot about that. No one's in sight, so I slip in the back door. Wow, well, we're back. We are back. Special elevator? <laughs> <laughs> Unlike outside, it's cool in here. I guess the air conditioner is still running. I reflexively take a quick look around, but I didn't need to bother. There's no one else in the hall. That detective said she'd be on the roof, yeah? Who knows what she wants to show us, but we better get a move on. Okay, okay, let's go. Okay, okay. Oh, not this guy again. 
a text. I open up the message. <laughs> How are you? It's Demon. I prepared your next riddle. Search the broken red monster in a place that exists no more. Okay, okay, we'll go. Okay, we'll go. Oh my lord. So, this is the elevator that connects to the past? Yeah, I don't know if it's still connected though, I'm a gnome. Past, huh? It's what you all say, but it's still hard to believe. Wanna give it a shot? That's impossible, we can't ride it. Huh? Why? We can't get past this fingerprint scanner. I don't know the fake fingerprint that we used to last time. Oh. What? Is it what? I guess we'll go to the roof. Oh, I was falling asleep, not gonna lie. <laughs> that out of the elevator. Oh. That's the scary mode for this game. <laughs> the roof of Moon Tower is an open terrace. It's cloudy tonight, but if it, it wasn't, we'd probably get a great view of the starry sky. <laughs> I like looking down at the lowly peons from this high. Who exactly are those lowly peons, I'm a gnome? Hey, you finally made it. Pretty nice spot, isn't it? Pretty fond of it, so I come up here now and then. You come here for a reason? Well, you know. So what are we meeting on the roof for? This. I glance down at her feet. Not in a weird way, though. She stands by the only bare patch of ground. There's a stone monument in the center. Okay. Bunch of letters are in the stone. In large letters it reads. Momoi Department Store Fire Victim Memorial. Yeah, it's a memorial for the victims of the Momoi Department Store Fire. Uh, there's a list of names. Going down the list, some of the names look familiar. Kenji Okayama. Momotaro Okayama. That's Killer Peach's Tomo Go Okiyama's husband and son? Okiyama had been trying to discover the truth behind the fire that killed her family, and she was killed for it. She became a killer. <laughs> uh oh. As I keep reading, my eyes snag on a group of names. Their last name. Your desk guide? Saboru Ui. Hiroko Ui. Yuki Ui. Who are these people? <laughs> There's Ui's on the list. <laughs> they aren't. <laughs> Yeah, it's just what you think. My parents and my little brother. They're... If their names are here, then they died in the department store fire ten years ago? Yeah, that's right. They went to the Momoi department store before Christmas to buy my little brother a present. I made plans to play at a friend's house, so that I didn't go with them. Thanks to that, I was saved. Then is that why... why you're so rash when it comes to the Moon Tower case? Pretty much. I knew Diet Woman Okoyama was chasing the truth behind the fire, and that the president of Sumi, Nobu Ishimaru, was keeping a close eye on him. Then Okoyama often vanished. The Sumi folks had to be behind it. Thought I could learn something by investigating them under the guise of the Killer Peach case. Never expected Okoyama to be Killer Peach. She quirks a weary smile. No surprise, this case took a left turn far outside the jurisdiction of regular detectives. Both Okoyama and I lost family in that fire, so I understand Killer Peach's grudge. But I'm a member of the police. I can't accept her approach. I need to stop her, no matter what. So I want to pursue the truth using just means in her place. Just means, huh? Only means? Did you realize that this investigation of yours is totally illegal, right? Quit being fussy. I saw Uwe get cut down by Killer Peach. Her recklessness back then made me angry, but when I think about how she'd likely been comparing herself to Killer Peach, guess it was only natural. By the way, about this memorial, why is this one spot scratched out? Among the ordered list of names on the memorial, one appears to be scratched out. Oh, that. Probably some nasty prank or something. One day it was just suddenly like that. Whose name was there? No clue. The report only mentioned that there were 25 people. There's no personal info on them. Huh. 
fire resulted in 25 victims, including the one scratched out. The report said that the cause of the fire was arson and the victims were con connected by chains. What happened 10 years ago and how did it connect with Demon Tsukiyomi? I'll just have to go back into the past to find out. I guess. Okay. <laughs> so simple. It's just not that easy, I guess. Well, we're done here, so let's get going. We're headed to the Momoi department store. We'll take the special elevator on the first floor. Right. Okay. Look whose fingerprint. Okay. Um. I punched the button, but the elevator's not responding. I tap the button over and over, but the door still won't open. The elevator isn't even coming. Let me see, maybe you pushed it wrong. He tries pushing the button himself, but it still doesn't respond. Yeah! Symbols are clanging together somewhere. Mixed in is what sounds like faint clockwork? He's speeching like a baby for him. This is how the next boss of the Iron Gnomes is like. They're in for a world of trouble. Hey, it's not my fault. Guess no snappy comeback from him. It's just a comeback. Guess I better find the source of the sound. Things coming from over there. <laughs> okay. The fuse blows. Hey, would you keep it down? What will you do if security catches wind of us? How do you convince them? I'd rather avoid as much trouble as we can. Who knows what'll happen? Good point. It's as if nothing had just happened, I grabbed the gorilla toy off the floor. And simple gorilla. Okay. Well. Okay. Oh, that's the roof. Out of nowhere, there's a, large, a loud noise and shaking, but just as suddenly as it starts, it stops. All the lights go out. Huh? Did it break? Hey, did it really break on us? Well, it's all back on now. I guess it wasn't broken. Faulty wiring, I guess. That was McCornu over there. I look over where he's pointing. Not a rabbit! A rabbit plushie hangs from the ceiling. <laughs> I don't remember seeing it earlier. What does that mean? That wasn't there when we got on, right? Probably just fell from the ceiling when we stopped so suddenly. I mean, I was in slack, jawed shock, but I ignore it. I just yanked the toy down as if nothing happened. I was being tangled rabbit. As she stepped out into the hall, a girl's laughter suddenly echoes down it. <laughs> laughter now too, huh? What in the world's going on in this building? Hey, it's the Kornu. What's that? Was that doll here before? I look where I'm at, I'm pointing and see an old, worn little doll. No! I slowly shake my head. All these supernatural things happening one after another is really creepy. Man. Muttering under my breath, I stomp over and pick up the creepy laughing doll. <laughs> Sounds like a cell phone vibrates nearby, but it's not mine. Nope, not mine. Which means... Looks like it's me. Excuse me for a sec. Yeah, yeah, it's me. Ooey. Oh, Ban, huh? Hey there. Yeah, so you got Okoyama's belongings okay? <laughs> Good thing Ishimaru didn't get his hands on him. She stepped away, but she's so loud that I can hear what's going on. Find notebook or diary, look through every last bit of it. Maybe we'll figure out why Ishimaru and Sumi covered up that fire. <laughs> I'll let you get to it. <coughs> Bless you. 
bless you. So that's what's going on. Hi, Hat Ben. Check it out for me. We'll get a call if there's any developments. Oh boy, look at that special one. Oh dear. Yes. Oh man, we're gonna go on to the special elevator. So that's happened, but we better go see this demon Sukuyomi thing. Yeah. Next time. Haha. <laughs> I'm actually falling asleep. 